Meg Markham is my worst nightmare in practice. She is the best defender on our team. Good defensive play by Meg Markham. She has the check. She plays great one-on-one -on -one defense. So it's awesome to be able to play against her every day. She makes all of us better. Tori's an amazing attacker. Her 38th goal of the season. I love to push everyone on attack. So I do go after them a little bit and uh, make it hard for them. But that's what helps them get better. God, big save made by Ferguson. Lucy is the second worst nightmare of an attacker. Intense, but it's for the better. It's, she's not a head case type of goalie. She is just a good athlete. Gets everyone fired up with her. Lucy gets pretty pumped. She has this huge energy in back there, so it makes us more aggressive. You know, if I do make a big save or the defense gets a good cause turnover, um, we want the attack to get that momentum. So I think just getting pumped and showing some emotion really helps the, the attack get pumped up too. She's that anchor back there. She's fun to watch. You know, she really is. I think she saves the ball she needs to save and then comes up with some amazing, you know, just, I guess, the crowd-pleasing saves too that really fires the team up. This year's the first year Penn Lacrosse attack is finally starting to hold our own. As always, we have to give all our credit to the defense. I think that is the signature of Penn Lacrosse. That's what gets us in games, keeps us in games. And we're lucky this year that our attack is finally able to start to live up to that. One thing that this team does well, that if it's not one person one day, another person does it. And they play at a pretty, at pretty fast pace. When they do that, I think that they open up a lot of opportunities for themselves. We want to go farther than we ever have before. Um, we have a ton of experience with Meg. You know, Ivy Championship's not good enough. We really want to go farther. So definitely have some ownership over that and you know, getting the, the younger ones to accept that message and really push it. Every year there's definitely a target on our back, but every year the focus is just to take it game by game, and I think that's how we've been successful. We, uh, we try to focus on the small picture instead of the big picture, and that allows us to, to do the small things right and uh, come out with the wins.